Does your baby have a diaper rash and you're trying to figure out what's the best cream out there to put on the, the your baby's butt so that that diaper rash will go away? We've tried a couple of things here and there's uh, one that I like, one that I don't like. I wanna talk to you guys about that today because our son had just had like serious butt rash and we needed to really get it under control. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have, and put on our baby's butts to make rashes go away. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So for the longest time, whenever our kids had a butt rash, we were just like, yeah, go and get the Target brand, you know, whatever, and throw it on there and hope, you know, it'll go away. And then we, uh, for a while, it was like real bad. So we're like, okay, let's get the most expensive kind. You know, those, it's like a little, I want to say the bottle was like this big and it was like seven to $10 just for the bottle. It didn't last very long. And then we found this stuff right here. And this stuff is the good stuff. Uh, but the first one that we tried, this is that Target brand one that I was talking about. It's this diaper rash paste. And what I found interesting was in it is that the, the skin protectant active ingredient, the zinc oxide, on this one, it's actually 40%. And on the one that we like, this zinc oxide is less. So even though the active ingredient in this one is more, I found better success with the one that had the less of the active ingredient, and I think it has something to do with the inactive ingredients, which most people don't look at whenever they're looking at like, you know, medication type of stuff. Because in this one, it has uh, just like a petrol, a, a petrolatum? I, I'm assuming that's some kind of like petroleum jelly type of thing. Uh, cod liver oil, lanolin, Z-Maze, which is like cornstarch, um, Glycerin, Zorbitan, and s s I can't even say that. Celestiaquilate, beeswax, topopheryl acetate, and fragrance. Another thing too is that whenever we went, we were having some, I had some sores on my butt that we're just gonna go with that. So I decided, let me try some of this, this diaper cream stuff and just see what it feels like, you know, me putting it on there. One thing that we do with our kids, which I would recommend you parents do, is to test the, the things that you're planning on putting on them on you before you put it on them. We do that with like food, you know, snacks that we might try, wanna give to them. We will taste it first to see if we like it. And then if we like it, we'll be like, okay, here, we think that you might like this. Or even if we don't like it, you try this and let me know if you like it or not. So that's one thing that we do. So I took this and I put it on my butt. Whenever I got this on my butt, I got the burns going on. It did not feel good. And I could imagine if you have a baby with a diaper rash and it's like getting to that point where it's like red and kind of blistery and whatnot, if you're going and like wiping that stuff on them and it's burning them, that's not gonna be a good situation. What you're gonna have is baby laying on the ground and they're gonna be kicking their legs because they don't want that stuff on you. And you're gonna be fighting them trying to get, because they don't want that on there. And you're gonna be like holding them up to be still and all this type of stuff. They're obviously doing that for a reason, right? So we picked up this stuff right here. It has to have been made in Louisiana and then they got sold off to a different company because it says that it's uh, distributed from New York, a, a per prestige consumer healthcare company, trade fleet fleet company Inc. But it's called Boudreaux's Butt Paste. And if you guys know anything about Louisiana, Boudreaux is like a very common last name here. So uh, this has to have been made in Louisiana. If you guys wanna check this stuff out too, I'm gonna link it up down in the description below. I'm gonna read other people's reviews about it, but this is the one that we have had the most amount of success with whenever it came to these diaper rashes. And I found it interesting because like I said, the zinc oxide in it, the active ingredient, it's only at 16% compared to the 40% in this one. But the real kicker for me on this was the inactive ingredients that are in this and I think it could have been some of those inactive ingredients in the other one that was causing that burning sensation especially something like is even though it's the last fragrance the last thing in there and it's the littlest amount uh, you know the last they're usually ingredients are listed by how much of it is put into there and the further down on the list the least amount of that is so usually the last thing on there is fragrance but even like a tiny bit of that type of fragrance can really irritate something that's already sore let's see what's in this one aloe barbandanus leaf juice 
So it's like an aloe juice, right, from the aloe plant, which people use out on like sunburns and that type of stuff. Beeswax, that's something that was similar with this one. This one's just the number two ingredient. This was way down in like number four or five, no, like eight, way down on the bottom. Uh, citric acid, uh, corn, Copernica conifera, which is carnivora wax. Look, <laughs> can you y'all know what that is? This this third one right here. Uh, so, but some kind of wax. I would sim I would think that it's something similar to like a beeswax. Uh, hydrogenated castor oil, which I've heard about that before. Uh, Myroxylin. Per <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Balsamus. Peru oil is, is what it's commonly known as. Rhinisus comensis, which is a castor seed oil. So the first thing that I'm noticing, just reading through these ingredients, is one, it's like a lot of oils and waxes type of stuff. And it's not like fragrances, you know, and things that you can't uh, pronounce. You know, it's not glycerin and petroleum and that type of stuff. That just gets kind of messy. Um, so I really liked the inactive ingredients in this one. Uh, and when it, I noticed a big difference in the shift in the rash and my son's reaction to it whenever we went to put it on his butt, he was so much more calmer with this one because he realized, oh, dad's using the green one. It's, uh, it's not gonna hurt as much. It doesn't hurt, doesn't have all the mess that's in this one that's causing the rash. The green one is the good stuff. And so I can definitely recommend this one. In fact, on the front here, the plant-based ingredients that they highlight are the, the aloe, which like I mentioned is good for sunburn, the natural carcanuba wax, and the castor oil. And it's, they also mention that it's free from dyes, petroleum, parabens, and preservatives, which is all the stuff that we saw in this stuff right here. The only thing that I also see that I think that they should add on to here is that it doesn't have fragrance in there because that could be another possible uh, agitation for the rash. Just to give you guys a look at what this stuff looks like, I will say that my son, this is one downside to this particular brand, is that my son, the two, our two year, almost two year old, can open this with ease. So he can grab this and start squeezing it, it's gonna get everywhere. But just to show you guys kind of what it looks like, it's like a soft, creamy type of paste. It's nothing too, uh, too hard, if you will. This one right here, take a look at. Uh, the cap on this one, I thought it was down. He never really grabbed this one, I guess, maybe. Or maybe it's got some gunk on there, so it's not, because I'm noticing that there's a little bit of gap here, but this one I would think that he'd be able to open easily too. They should make these with a little bit stronger lock on it so that um, the baby won't get to it and like squeeze it and spread it all over the place. We just take a look at this one. You can tell it's a little bit more, uh, I don't want to say firm, but it's 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 not as creamy as the other one is. I can see like little beads of stuff in there, and so even that, just you know, taking that and smearing it, smearing it on something that's already agitated is not going to be a good situation. So, definitely recommend this. This is the box that it comes in. This is the tube that it the inside the box called Boudreaux's Butt Paste. Definitely recommend this stuff. Linking it up down in the description below. Seriously, if your kids have a butt rash right now, or if you're uh, having, if you're pregnant, about to have kids, uh, definitely recommend. Need a good uh, shower gift, a baby shower gift? Go grab some Boudreaux's butt paste and send that to whoever's pregnant. Or if you're pregnant, go and get some for your child because you're definitely at some point in time gonna need it. If you guys are liking what we're doing here on Dad Reviews and you want to see, I did a playlist of videos, a series of videos about what are those best baby wipes. I went through like, I don't know, five to seven different brands. I'm going to put those right there on the screen, that entire playlist. Go watch all those videos so you can find out what is that best wipe whenever you're going to clean up that poop off your baby's butt. <laughs> I'll see you all in those videos. Thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is appreciated. Also, hide all the moms out there. There's probably a few of you gals out there as well. And dad out.